Because you know, Nigeria, we like to appear that we can afford things. It's not cheap. Not everybody can afford it. My MBA. Let me let me let me give you. Let me give you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Only two percent of Nigerians in diaspora can afford Harvard. Yes. No. Some people cannot. The majority can be no, besides we are not talking about loans and scholarship. Oh. If you if you can get loans and scholarship, of course they can go there. <laughs> yeah, but paying out of pocket is expensive. You know the, the average income in the United States is forty eight thousand dollars. Poverty for you to be considered not above poverty, you have to make twenty one thousand five hundred. If you are making less than twenty one thousand five hundred for a family of four, you are considered to be in poverty. So that that's the that's the thing. That but is, is, that's, 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 that's how much Mama Z. Less than how much saying the same thing. Less than how much you're talking about the average income, not the average income of Nigeria. No, no, no. Mama Z less than how much Nigeria. I think that's that. 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 why you see, listen, eh, I may be wrong, bro, but when I went to the UK, I did not see Nigeria. Okay, it's different. Hold on. Hold on. How much now? Well, how much is what? what? did you say? $21,500. $21, $21, $21, $21, $21, $21, $21, $21, $21, $21, $21, That's poverty level. That's poverty. Yes. Let's keep in mind. 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 let you also need to understand something. Canada is different from US. In Canada, you get a lot of things for free. In the United States, you don't. A lot of things I said, let, me, let me tell you what. When you're talking about, for example, now, child care. Let me even start with child care. My three year olds, how many people pay $1,400, $1,400 on a monthly basis for a three year old? Not everybody, the Nigerians that you're talking about, not every Nigerians in America will pay that. They would rather have their kids at home and pay somebody that will just sit with them. I chose to do that, even though I'm working from home, I chose to do that because I know my child is, if, I, if she's at home with me, she will be disturbing me, I won't be able to walk, so I just let her go. So she's been going like that. So every year, actually by the time that we pay, besides that though, we still pay supply fee on a quarterly basis, which is like $200. And then at the end of the year, when they send me the tax paper for my three-year-old, she's, uh, she's, she's, I'm spending $18,000 on a three-year-old per year. Well, so, I you know, why do you have, I know you said you don't have kids. You will see, oh, you, we will come back to discuss this when your kids are here. Let us hear Bongoli. I want to hear Bongoli. Oh, yeah, Bongoli. I'm coming, oh. Daddy Freeze, what is it? Oh, Daddy Freeze, what is it? Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening, what is it? What is the way Ifi and uh, Bukola made Canada look like when you enter Canada like this, they will just use Ferrari to come and pick you at the airport. Oh, no, and Daddy Freeze, far from that. Going to school. <laughs> Please, go put your take on this matter. I hope we end down here. Ah, ah Daddy Freeze. Um, I have little experience of, of, of Canada or in Canada, uh, but I think in Canada is a more socialist society. Oh, thank God. Someone even put it there. Sir. Canada, is, Canada is more of a society. socialist society. And I think Canada ranks 20, number 25 yes. out of 205 countries when it comes to taxes, 207. Mama, to remember we shared that document together a couple of months ago. I shared it with you. We, we, myself and Mama Tuzi analyze all of the tax brackets across the mm -hmm. world. Nigeria, on the other hand, we pay one of the lowest taxes in the world, lowest tax burden mm -hmm. in the world. We are number, we are the fifth lowest in the world. And then we are complaining about uh, we don't have good roads, we don't have uh, electricity, we don't have good education. But we pay, we are like the fifth or sixth worst in the world when it comes to taxes. How else do the government make money? Now, as for America, for example, 
Um, Mama Tuzi gave a, a very good analysis on the 21,000. I actually thought it was even 36,000 or less. So I have to do some research on that. Mama Tuzi may be right because when I did it, 36,000 or less, 36,000 is like 3K per month. And 3K per month, I don't think it's poverty in America for now. No, because if you are working at Walmart or HEB, that may be what you're earning. And that 36,000 or 30,000 or whatever, that's like almost over 40,000 Canadian dollars. So, and then in Canada, Canada is more expensive because it's a socialist society. So you pay more taxes. Yeah, we pay and more then taxes. More benefits. Okay, we'll talk, uh, let's talk about myself and Matuzi. We were talking about healthcare the other day. A lot of people, you can use America as a comparison to the U to Canada, for example, when it comes to healthcare. Um, America has good quality, one of the best qualities in the world. America has um, America has poor costing. America pays the highest when it comes to costing. And then access, I think in Canada, don't they have no better access than America? I don't know, because you think no, that because you can't the They have access for not quality. America has the best quality in healthcare, but yeah, not the access. Quality. Yes. Yeah. Access and that's cost. I think access and uh, not what's it called? We don't come for us, though. If we don't fight, that's yeah. the <laughs> yeah. So, 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 you know, in, so in, 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 Amer in America, at the end of the day, you strive toward um, staying in areas that are expensive if you want your children to go to the uh, better yeah. school. Yeah. Because remember, it's it all boils down on your property taxes. Mm -hmm. You pay more proper, you pay more in property taxes. So, for example, in the Houston area that I'm in, for example, Houston is under Harris County, like local government, for example, in Nigeria. Let's look at it from a local government level. Say you are on a, that is, what's your local government area, sir? Etiosa. Compare Etiosa. Tomushi local government or Shomoli local government. Of course, it's your sir. Uh -huh. So yeah. I like to bring it, I like to bring it back home. I like to bring it back yeah. home. Mm -hmm. So compare it's your sir, local government to Shomolu Bariga local government or Muchi local government. So mm -hmm. compare the schools. Yes. Compare the schools. Compare the kind of um, infrastructure in those areas. So if you are going to just start paying taxes like that, why do you think they'll pay more taxes? Mm -hmm. They'll pay more taxes in Etiosa. And in Etiosa, you get some better and quality infrastructure and schooling and all of that. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, so pretty much, so, you know, the, uh, the no. Western world is not a bed of music. The Western world is not a bed of Yeah, it is. It is. It's it not is. My two Canadian sisters said Harvard is not Harvard is not a big deal so that they can afford it. Then please, I really? never said anything regarding what I can afford or what I can't afford. I consciously to the low body wear. ロボリベゴリベゴトガカイチ。ハバーナ。ロボリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴリベゴ
What's the what's the percentage? Oxford. Huh? What's the percentage for Ivy of schools? For the Ivy League schools. schools. What's the percentage of Nigerians that can afford Ivy League schools for their kids? Well, let's look at it this way. I let's, think Ivy League schools will be in a now. Well, let's look at it this way. Which Nigerians are you talking uh, about? Are you talking about in America Nigerians or in Nigeria? Nigeria? Or the Nigerians in Nigeria? So let's start with Nigerians in Nigeria. Less than one percent. Less than one percent. Less than one percent. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say that, please. With all due respect, Mamatuzi, I will fight you because according to the CBN, is zero point five percent of Nigerians that have five hundred thousand naira or more in their pockets. <laughs> <country. laughs> no, no, don't go there. Don't say that, Mamatuzi. Don't say that. So let's forget about. Hold on. Listen to what. Listen to what Bukota said. How about it? Feel, but it's affordable. You cannot what? put up. <laughs> I'm going to make an exception and say one thing. If I want my kids to go to Harvard, I can start planning for it now. And trust me, they will go to Harvard. But you don't have kids. <laughs> what did you say now? You so gave yourself 20 you years or 18 years. And now, you still want your life for you. That's you what I'm saying. That that you you by that time, the inflation by that time it might not be hundred thousand dollars again, depending on the cost, might be one fifty because of inflation. So and they are going to pay six hundred thousand dollars for inflation. And you need to you need to also consider something that most of most Nigerians are actually pay that kind of money. They are not even Nigerians in this overseas. Nigerians yeah. overseas are smarter yeah. than that. They know that these schools are expensive. They will support their kids with everything else. They need their supplies and everything, but they will let them fight for scholarships and loans. Well, so that's, that's, why, that's why we encourage our kids to do very well, well in school because we want them to get that scholarship and loans. We want them to go to those Ivy League schools. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Exactly. See what Buki said, and I pin it. Bongoli, to you, in my talk, to some of us, afford it. Like, I said exactly, you are the minority. Minority. This is on the minority. It's like saying sleeping because out of 1,000, let me give you a statistic. Each time you sleep with a woman, the chance of conception is one out of 100. How come mm -hmm. people, the first time they sleep with a woman? Calculation. Not calculation. So you need to be careful. Calculation. Say you can afford it. You, Bukola, you have not told us your source of income. You have not told us mm -hmm. your income. Do you understand? Because this is not Nigeria that you can just have an income abroad. You must be in a certain tax bracket, and tax bracket means you will be taxed. So, yeah. <laughs> hold on. What are you doing in that? That Canada that can help you afford Harvard. We will tell a lot of things that if we say, but, but nobody is disputing that. We are not disputing that. No, that we are not is asking what you are doing. Once you're a professional, I think you can afford a lot of things. If you're a professional, you can afford Harvard. My sister. It's like telling me you my can sister. Tell my my sister. sister. My hold sister. Hold my sister. Hold on. Like my sister. People can afford a lot of stuff. Sister. Mama Tuzi actually said it the very right way or correct way. Mm -hmm. The Nigerians, the percentage of Nigerians that you see going to Harvard, mm -hmm. like Nigerians, are actually uh, coming from scholars. Nigeria. No, not okay, yes, the scholars. Cash, right? No, 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 no. They are coming from Nigeria and they are paying cash. How many of you people in Canada can afford MIT or Harvard? How many of us in America can read that? Don't you see that's why they'll say my children have 15 scholarships? My children have 20 scholarship in the Western world. That's it now. And then maybe it might not be full scholarship. And then you should be small. Hold on. So, I believe you need to pass it down. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. I want you to hear this. I want you to listen to this. This is from Harvard, by the way. Financial aid program expanded. We are pleased to announce that beginning in the 2023-2024 academic year, families with annual income of up to $85,000 will be expected to contribute nothing, zero, 
to the cost of their child's education. So those Nigerians you are talking about now, they won't even have to contribute anything. They will contribute zero. So when we are talking about they can afford it, a lot of Nigerians will not come out and tell you how they are paying their, 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 their kids' school fees. They don't tell you if they are using loan or anything because first off, they want to be acting like they can afford it when they really, truly cannot really afford it. They will come and say, oh, my child is going to Harvard. And you know what? In, in abroad, we mind our business. We don't ask people, how are you paying for it and all of that. So we just make an assumption. But 2023, 2020, <laughs> 2023 2024 cost of attendance is between $82,950 to $87,450. And that is for in state. For out of state, international students, it's two and a half now, of that now, cost. Hold on. Let me now break your heart. All those scholarship levels for Harvard, they are like 2% or 3%. Because the Sultan of Brunei does not need a scholarship to send his grandson to Harvard. So, I want to put it to you. How many of you watching this live are your children going to Harvard or did you go to Harvard? You see the answer is zero. I put it to you. There are 1,000 people watching me across board. And out of this 1,000, 800 are abroad. And out of this 800, none of you pass through Harvard at any level or MIT or any that, high top. Daddy, please. Daddy, please, before you ask that question, Mama Tuzi made it. Point now, and I think he just went off the radar. Like he just went down. He just he, we didn't get it. Mama Tuzi said something about in state and out of state. Mm -hmm. Out of mm -hmm. state means that because you are not from that state, he said you are going to pay two and a half. So let us multiply. Let me say eighty thousand times two point five. So eighty thousand times two point five. That is one fifty. That is two hundred thousand. That's two hundred thousand. Eighty times two point five. Is two hundred thousand. So that means the Nigerian from Nigeria is going to pay two hundred thousand dollars cash for just tuition alone. Mm -hmm. Then you are going to pay for upkeep, the hostel or the dormitory where that person is going to stay, whatever. Mm -hmm. So yearly, annually, daddy or mommy is going to be spending two hundred and fifty thousand yes. dollars. Which work you want to do for that? Where you go see two fifty thousand dollars? But people they go out from Nigeria direct. Yes. But in America, <laughs> your parents will spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars on you. How much is their salary? Let me break your heart. As long as you are sacrificing or struggling to make a payment, you can't afford it. Yes. Oh, well, yes. Good. So for all of the you, including you, if he, that is crazy. You, you don't know that because you, but you didn't. Oh, yeah, tell how much are you earning? Tell us. How much? Yeah, I will never tell you how much I'm earning. Tell us, tell us. All you just know is that the lawyer and that's okay. It's confidential. It's confidential. She's doing good. She's doing good. Uh -huh. She's doing where good. Is where is Ibis Love Haven? She don't run. Uh, but, uh, Ibis, your money is long. There's no way your money is long. I don't know. Because you say, just because Bogoli, you cannot afford it. That doesn't mean some other people cannot afford it. You know, that's fine. No, but that's but what Ibis said. <laughs> So and no, besides, like that I have that enough time to afford whatever for oh, my kids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But There's education accounts and stuff. You, you, you may can't... not have a house. No, 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 no. You may not no, have a house. But that's... But that's why there's education. Right now in the US, we have sense. education accounts and all of this that you can open for your kids now and be putting that there. But a lot of people too deep into it if they fall into something. <laughs> Congratulations, Nigerians. You don't need to go to Harvard. Bola Ahmed Zinubu Ashiwaju has brought student loan to Nigeria. If you are in Nigeria, go and collect your student loan. You will be Daddy, up. please wait. Ah, yeah. Daddy, please wait. You know this topic. We are supposed to make it a full topic and come and talk about it. Because one day, if you have got to go and collect money from Pampe, Kuda, those loan shark, you will not collect it too. They will carry you. Oh, <laughs> you can't qualify. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can see that if it's you see, you see that particular bill that was passed into law has its pros and has its cons. It's not just Uhuru or sweets, it has its own downside. The downside is the one of the downsides are that school fees are going to be expensive. You know, we're not going to pay for cheap education anymore. Mm. Cheap education is gone. When I was in uni lag, back then my tuition was six thousand five hundred naira. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
on we'll talk about January tomorrow evening. Tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Let yes, our education is going to get better. Our education is going to improve now. Everybody going to do their thing their way. So, for yeah. people like him, supported Bola Ameke Tinubu, congratulations. Things are no, good. We are not there yet. No, Daddy, please. Daddy, we don't support rubbish. We don't support nonsense. Daddy, please go and invest in stock or Nigerian it's stock. Early days, Nigerian yeah. stock. If the PS is in the it's highest now, it's early go and days, buy Nigerian dollar bond. Go and early buy Nigerian yes. dollar bond. We don't support rubbish. We don't support nonsense. Early days, we don't support the Mayama. We do build dog. If it's it's early days it. yet. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> we can calm down. It's our best year. It's our best year. It's our best year. It's our best year. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy.